adventures of Jungle Jim. Last week, Jungle Jim and Shanghai Lil had taken a position on the hill overlooking the old lamissary in order to warn Connie and Bob McGuire that the former friendly haven had fallen into the hands of the silent one. However, as you remember, they were fired upon and driven from their lookout position. Just at that time, Bob and Connie McGuire approached from the west and being unwarned, rode into the trap and were taken prisoners by the silent one. However, Jim and Lil did see a part of the drama which took place at the gates when Bob and Connie were captured and they were suspicious, believing that perhaps the two who entered may be Bob and Connie McGuire in disguise. The thrilling adventures of Jungle Jim are pictured each Sunday in the Comic Weekly, the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure. The Comic Weekly, each page printed in full color, is distributed everywhere as an integral part of your Hearst Sunday newspaper. And now we continue our story. A little later, while Jim and Lil and Kolo waited for nightfall, three riders approached them from the south. Jim and Kolo jumped in front of them and held them up. Throw up your hands, all of you. Come on, get them up. Come on. Throw up. Well, I'll be darned. Oh, be what? Yeah. Well, what do you mean in this, Bradley? What do you mean by jumping out from behind rocks and scaring a person to death? Explain yourself. I'm sorry, O.P., you're the last person in the world that I expected to see. Yeah, well, you know I'm nervous when I'm up on one of these animals. <laughs> I'm not built for them. That's it, not built for them. What? what? <laughs> Don't just stand there. Help me down. All right. Give me your hand, Opie. Yeah. There, yeah, that's easy now. I thought you were going to stay at Fort Jamrat. Yeah, be careful now. Hey, 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 you're all right. <sighs> all right, all right. Now, I'm down. Now, you can let go of my arm. Now, now, what were you saying? That I thought you were going to remain at Fort Jamrat. What? And not know what was happening? Huh. Bradley, I'll have you know that the blood of heroes flows in the veins of the watch. <laughs> well, uh, have you found Bob and Connie? No, not yet, O.P. But wait, we can't talk here. Hmm? Let's get rid of these natives. Kolo. Yes, it's one. Uh, take these two men and the horses and show them where ours are hidden. Then report to me. I'll be up near the top of the hill. Yes, it's one. Kolo, Sabi. All right, O.P. Come on. Where, where, where are you going? Why have you stopped here, Bradley? I have reasons for believing that my daughter Connie and her husband or at the beauty slammissary, which must be somewhere near here. Well, you may be right, O.P., but I hope not. Yeah? What do you mean? Bradley, will you tell me what's going on? Where's Mr. Vrea? A great deal has happened, O.P. Lil is here. And I think we'd better wait until we join her before I explain to you. You mean to say that she's somewhere up on this confounded hill? And why are we climbing this thing? Oh, there are plenty of level places. We're climbing this hill because from the top we can see the old lamissary. And all the trails leading to it. Uh, do you mean that, that we're near the place? No, it's less than half a mile away. Wait. We'd better stop here. But why? Why? You said that... What? I'll tell you one thing. Uh, the old lamissary is no longer in the hands of the Buddhist monks. It's been taken over by the silent one. What? What's that? What are you saying, Bradley? That the place is now a trap, O.P. And Lil and I both believe that perhaps your daughter and her husband, Bob McGuire, may be there. Y you mean they're prisoners? That they've been captured? Well, we're not sure, O.P., but... Oh, wait a minute. Hmm? Here comes Kolo. Horses and men hidden, Juan Jim. A good colo. Now, I want you to crawl to the top of the hill and take Lil's place up there and tell her to come down here. And be careful, Colo. Be sorry, Juan. I say, Bradley, what's the meaning of all this tomfoolery? I've already told you what. The old lamissary is less than a half a mile from this spot. Yeah. A little while ago, someone using a high-powered rifle fired on little me from one of the towers. If the bullet hadn't struck this buckle here on my cartridge belt, why, I might have been killed. What? Do you mean they actually shot at you? That's right, O.P. And they didn't use no bean shooter either. Wait. Well, here comes Lil. Well, O.P., fancy seeing you here. You finally decided to come up to the front line, Mr. <laughs> Devril, this is no matter to treat lightly. My daughter Connie and her husband are in danger. We know that, O.P. Why, unless we act, the silent one and the man he works for, the Maharaja of Ibu, may even get the Genghis Khan's jewels. Say, O.P., you've changed. <sighs> Why, a few days ago, you didn't even believe that the jewels existed. Yes, well, I've since found out different, Mr. Vril. Colonel Hammond has told me that the map which my son-in-law has is genuine. Now, you two have allowed him and my daughter to be captured. Now, wait, O.P. Uh, We're not sure of that. Have you told him what's happened, Jim? Some of it, Lou. We were waiting for you. Well, now that she's here, let's have the rest of the story. I want you two to understand that O.P. Watts is not going to stand by and see anything put over on his daughter or his son-in-law. I'll fight this to the finish if it takes the last bank I own. Ah, now you're talking, O.P. <laughs> Go ahead, Jim. Tell him the story. Okay. What? 
I told you that the old lamissary is now in the hands of the silent ones. Yes. I know because Kolo and I went to its gates disguised as native. And you say you saw the silent one. Was the Maharaja of Ibu there too? We only heard his name. We didn't see him, Opie. Well, he's there all right. The silent one and this Maharaja work together. Now, Colonel Hammond told me that. I wouldn't be surprised. Go on, Jim. Right, Lou. When Kolo and I were at the gate, the silent one recognized me. Kolo and I had to run for our lives. Yes, yes. What happened next? You said you were shot at. That's right. We came back here to Lil. Our plan was to watch the Lamasari and all the roads leading to it. We thought by doing that, we could stop Cop Bob and Connie. But you said you both believe they're already prisoners. Exactly, O.P. You see, a short time after Jim returned, somebody spotted us from the tower of the Lamasari. Boy, I'll say they did. And they started shooting. We had to get out fast. But we were off the hilltop here about ten minutes, I'd say. Maybe not that long, but when we got back, we were just in time to see two people riding through the Lamasari's gate. And they were just about the size of Bob and Connie. Oh, my, oh, my. Now, what are you planning? We, we, we've got to do something. Now, how about getting word to Hammond at the fort? The authorities would never enter a Buddhist lamissary on our word alone, O.P. Oh, of course not. I'd forgotten. Colonel Hammond told me that. Said they maintained a, a handoff policy or something like that. This is an hour left, O.P. We've got to handle it ourselves. Yes, and I think I have a plan. Good, good, good. Let's, let's hear it. I want action, Bradley. Well, just stick around, O.P. I'm waiting for night. Just as soon as it gets dark, I'm going to disguise myself as an Afghan hillman and get into that lamissary somehow. That's why we held up your party. I didn't know who you were, but I needed the clothes of your guides. Well, I'm not sure that not sure that you should attempt it, Bradley. That's just the way I feel, O.P. It's too dangerous, Jim. You said you wanted action. It's your daughter, O.P. Now, wait, Bradley, wait. You may think I'm an old fuss budget, but I've got some ideas, too. Now, if my daughter Connie and her husband Bob McGuire are already prisoners, they'll be under guard. Now, you won't be able to rescue them all alone. At least I'll find out whether or not they're there. Now, there may be another way of finding that out, Bradley. My daughter and her husband are safe for a day or two, even if they are prisoners. What makes you think that? Well, this silent one, or his boss, the Maharaja, isn't going to harm them. To begin with, Bob and Connie are the only ones who know the location where the Genghis Khan's jewels are buried. Oh, P may be right about that, Jim. Yeah, and there's another reason. Those cutthroats know who Bob and Connie are. They won't harm them. They'll hold them for ransom. He's right, Jim. You bet I'm right, Bradley. Yes, sir. O.P. Watch has been around. I know what I'm talking about. All right, what's your plan, O.P.? It better be good or I'm going to take things into my own hands. It's true you hired Lil and me, but I'm not taking any chances. Now, wait, Bradley, wait. You say that you can see every move the silent one and his gang makes from the top of this hill? That's right. Then let's wait a little while and see what their next move is going to be. Now, that's it. That's the sensible thing to do. Opie is right, Jim. Yeah. That's what I've been trying to tell you. Maybe. Why, we're not even sure that Bob and Connie were the ones we saw entering. Okay, you win. We'll see what happens in the next few hours. Jim, look, here hmm? comes Kolu, and he looks excited. Well, you may not have to wait long. Kolu, what's happened? Swan, Lamasari's gate's open. Many men come this way. You say they're coming toward this hill? Yes, it's one. Come on, Lil. You too, Opie. Yep. You wanted action. Well, it looks like you're going to get it. <laughs> Meanwhile, within the walls of the Lamissary, Bob and Connie McGuire have been brought face to face with their captor, the Maharaja of Ebor. Welcome, Mr. and Mrs. McGuire. This is a distinct pleasure, I assure you. Say, what's the meaning of this outrage? Have these men release my wife and me at once. Oh, please, we've done nothing. You need not be disturbed, Mrs. McGuire. No harm will come to you here. Not if your husband agrees to do my bidding. What do you want of me? I don't think I need to explain. Your father and I had some trouble once. He stole a very precious paper belonging to me. A map. That's a lie. Be careful with your tongue, Maguire. The Maharaja of Ibor does not permit dogs to speak to him in that tone. My father was a gentleman, Ibor. I know all about your attempt to rob and kill him. Silence! I'm not going to keep quiet. Please, Bob, wait. Your wife shows rare judgment, Maguire. It would be better if you followed her example and listened. All right, go ahead. I have no doubt but that your father told you that I attempted to take the map which you now have away from him. However, it is possible that even he did not understand that it belonged to me. You can't get away with that. I know the entire story of how it came into his possession, Ibor. You know the story he told you. And that's the one I believe. The map which he gave to me came into his possession honestly, and I'm going to keep it. That's all I've got to say. Now, I demand that you set us free. You'll never leave this lamasari unless you give me the map. 
which shows the location of the buried jewels of the Genghis Khan. Where is it? Where is it? That's my business, Ibo. You forget. Unless you give me the map, I shall be forced to take it away from no. you. No. Can it, Ari? No, be fine. Well? Ibo, you've made a mistake. I haven't any map. No? You can search me. We shall see. Seize him, men. Yes, no, no. No, don't hurt him. Let go, my arm. Torch him. Let go. He has nothing, Hannah. No. I hope you're satisfied. Perhaps your wife carries the map. We shall see. Keep all if you lay your hands on her. Silence! You will speak when you are spoken to. Slave, where is your wife? She is in the next room, Hannah. Take this woman to her and have her search. Oh, no. I haven't the map. Mom, Roger, you must believe Take me. Take her away. Oh, Bob, help me. Don't worry, Connie, darling. Ebor, I'm holding you responsible for my wife's safety. If anything happens to her, I'll break every bone in your body. You understand? Take her away. Come, Mem Oh, Bob, Bob, please, come with me. Come, Mem your no. husband will remain here, Mrs. McGuire. Hold no. him, hold him in. Bob, Bob, If you think you're going to find the map on her, you're mistaken. No. You think we'd be fools enough to carry it with us when we knew that your paid killer, the silent one, was after it? I intend to have that map, McGuire. Your father escaped me, but you won't. I tell you, I haven't it. Neither has Connie. Then what have you done with it? Speak. You are going to force me to make you talk. I'll give you one more chance, McGuire. Speak. You'll never get any information from me. We shall see. Tell me what you've done with the map. Or by the beard of the prophet, I'll twist the truth out of your wife. Are you... Mem time does not carry the paper, Hannah. So. Now, McGuire. Speak. Or my men will use a little Afghan persuasion on your wife. What will be the fate of Connie and Bob McGuire? Jungle Jim and Shanghai Lil may have their hands full if the men who are leaving the Lamissary are to attack them. And if so, they will be unable to go to the aid of the Maguires. The adventures you have just heard dramatized will appear in full-color action pictures in the Comic Weekly. The big Comic Weekly distributed with your Hearst Sunday newspaper everywhere. In the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure, you will find all the famous characters who live in the world of color pictures. There's the Katzenjammer Kids, Jigs and Maggie, Barney Google, Toots and Casper, The Little King, Flash Gordon. See all these famous characters in your copy of next Sunday's Comic Weekly. And don't forget our date next week. Same time, same station for a continuation of the adventures of Jungle Jim. Jungle Jim.